What is up YouTube, IDM here and welcome back to another video. So I wanted to show you guys Music View, a really cool widget that I like to use occasionally in certain setups on my iPhone and I think it's a pretty cool application. So I wanted to demonstrate how it works for you guys so you can see what it's all about. Now, as you can see, I do have the Music View uh, music widget at the top of this setup. For those of you that are going to be wondering, I will be doing a another episode of my setup series on this setup, so you guys can get the details there. Um, I'll do that video right after this one. But like I said, I wanted to focus specifically on Music View, uh, just because I think it's a pretty cool application and the widgets are very customizable, and I think it's pretty cool the way it operates. Now, as you can see, I have a custom made widget here. I have some really crazy colors on it right now. These aren't the colors that I normally keep. Uh, but I'm just demoing what you can do with the widget. So we got our album artwork there. We have the uh, the name of the track, the artist, and then our um, you know previous play pause, next track buttons at the bottom that do function as well. As you can see, I can skip to the next track. Now it's currently playing through Spotify. It can play through Spotify and Apple Music, and I think that's all it supports as of right now. Um, I'm not sure I haven't tested it with other apps like Tidal or anything like that, but I mainly use Spotify So it's a pretty cool, um, you know widget to customize and have in certain setups that I like to do so um, What we'll do is we'll actually just jump into the music view application. It's pretty straightforward how it works um, Let me go ahead and actually pause the music There we go and let's hop into the music view application. So the app is pretty simple and straightforward and you don't really ever use the application while you're listening to music. It's mainly just to create the cool looking widgets and use those widgets. Otherwise, I don't ever go into the app unless I'm gonna create a widget or use a widget. But you have your home section here that have a bunch of top you know, albums and tracks and stuff. Uh, you have your currently playing stuff. You have your custom themes here, which are the widgets. There's a top list and then settings on the bottom. But like I said, I mainly just use this for the themes section uh, that allows me to create custom widgets to control my music. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I am currently using IDM widget one. You can only create or edit a small or medium widget. The large widgets are default and I'll show you that here real quick. So we'll remove uh, this one and we'll put a large music view in. So those aren't customizable, but I still think they look pretty cool the way they are. It's just a giant um, version of the album art. So there you go. That's what the large widget looks like. So if you want a really big widget of the album art, you can use music for view for that. But like I said, I really like the, the customization of the medium and small widgets. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new widget. So we're just going to click the plus button in the upper right. I'm going to create a medium sized one. And as you can see, you start out with kind of a default setup here with um, you know, a default look and we can start by going through each each section here so you can start customizing the colors So if we want to change the tint color, which is going to be the song name We could change that to like blue or purple or whatever we want You can move the sliders you have a spectrum you have a grid so you can really customize this color To be any color you want exactly so that's really handy when it comes to making it look good with a certain setup on your iPhone and then you do have the subtitle color there. I'll just change it to purple just to demonstrate. And then you have your action colors. Now this is a little weird because it doesn't actually show the color um, in this preview. Uh, you, you will see it when it's on your home screen, but not in this, in this view. So just take note, that's the colors that the buttons will be. And then you have background uh, control here. So you could use the colors of the album as the background which is pretty neat. So if you wanted the album artwork to have to be the background colors, you could do that. I usually use a solid color and I typically like to go for like a really dark kind of gray or black. I'll just do the dark gray just like that. And then you have, uh, you can use an image as the background as well. So if you wanted to make this kind of almost look invisible in a setup, you could do that with this application, which is pretty neat. Maybe I'll do, you know, a setup like that where I actually have the background fully kind of invisible and you just see the floating album art and the name and then the, the controls. That might be kind of cool. Um, but that's it for the, the background color. Then you have your album art options here. So you could blur the album art if you want. You can have it be left, center, or right. 
and you can also have it small, medium, or large. And I think I typically like to do the large. I think it looks pretty cool. And then of course you could have that just be centered so it'd be just the album art only or to the right. I like keeping it on the left because I'm right-handed so it just kind of makes sense. And then you can have a border with it as well which is pretty neat. So if you want a border around the album art, it's just another, you know, another possibility for color matching with a setup to really make it blend into like your icons or the theme, whatever you're using. Uh, pretty cool. So we'll just, I don't know, change this one to, to yellow. And then we have some general options here. Now I like to do refresh on tap because if you don't do that, it launches the music view application. So if you click pause, it'll open the app and then it'll pause it. I don't like that. I like to do the refresh on tap. So I just tap the button and then it does the actions. It's not, you know, I tap the button and it opens the app. I don't really like that. And then you can have show the last played song when no music is playing. So if you want your setup to look pretty cool, you could enable that. I'm just gonna click save and we'll save this as IDM YT, just so I know what it is. We'll click save and now we will enable this new music view theme on my home screen. So we'll just tap and hold and add a new widget here and go down to music view. And then again, we'll slide through here. So you have music view for Spotify, small, medium, large music view for Apple music, small, medium, and large now playing music, Apple now playing music, Spotify. And then here are your custom themes. There's also a top lists, but I like the custom theme. So we'll add this size. And as you can see, it is not correct. So to choose the theme we want to use, we just tap and hold, we do edit widget. And then we can choose the theme. As you can see, you can have a bunch of different themes depending on what you want to do. We'll just choose the one that I just created and click on done. Now, unfortunately the app, the way it works is you have to start the music in Spotify or Apple Music. You can't, I don't think you can use Music View to start playing. Yeah, you can't. So what we'll do is hop into Spotify and I'll just click play. I'll exit out and it will refresh on its own or you can just tap to refresh it and there you go and then what i meant by the tap the tap actions is you can see i can choose the next track and it briefly opens the widget just to input the controls and then it instantly shut it shuts uh the app and goes back into the widget if i didn't have that it would open the app and the app would stay open like i said i don't really like that i like just tapping it looks a little glitchy but it works and i think it's cool because you can fully customize the way it looks so that's pretty much all there is to it. That's music view. I like using it occasionally in setups, like I mentioned. So you will see it time to time in my setups. So that's why I did this video for you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.